A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In the previous video, you created some user accounts and assigned them IDs and groups. In this video, you will create a facility for setting and changing passwords. The reset password interface is self-explanatory. Administrators select a user ID and then provide and confirm a new password for it. The users you created in the previous video reside in the database table GL underscore users without passwords, therefore, none of them can access the application at the moment. You'll create the password interface by adding a blank page to the application, but first you have to add two custom functions, custom underscore auth and custom underscore hash, to your database. After receiving login information, the Apex engine evaluates and executes the authentication scheme that will be configured at the end of this video. The scheme makes a call to a function named custom underscore auth, which, in conjunction with the custom underscore hash function, authenticates users using the credentials stored in the GL underscore users table. The two functions are added to the database to implement a custom authentication mechanism. The custom underscore hash function is a subordinate function to the custom underscore auth function, and is called from the parent function, to obfuscate passwords with hash algorithm. Open the SQL commands interface from SQL Workshop. Download source code from video description. Open source code, part 9 folder, copy and paste the first function custom hash function from custom functions.txt file which uses the DBMS Obfuscation Toolkit package. Note that this package has been deprecated in favor of DBMS Crypto, which is now used to encrypt and decrypt data. Oracle Database installs the DBMS Crypto package in the SYS schema which is in the offline production environment. Scroll down, copy and paste the second function custom auth function from custom functions.txt file. If you are using an offline Apex version, then use the custom functions dbms crypto.txt file, which is already provided in the source code. Note that here you do not have access to the SYS schema, so you can't use dbms crypto in the online Apex version. Create the password interface using a blank page. Note that this page will be called from the reset password option in the utilities menu.
copy and paste the first query code from SQL Queries 9.2.txt file. Copy and paste the second query code from the same text file. The query defined uses a condition in the WHERE clause, admin equals Y, to quickly assess the presence of an administrator, who is allowed to change the password of any user. This is the reason for the inclusion of the admin column in the GL underscore users table. By setting this condition, the select list item, which is added to display a list of all users, will be visible to administrators only. P56 underscore user ID 2, display only page item will show the ID of the current non-admin user using a substitution string, ampersand app underscore user. You also used an opposite where clause in the condition query, in contrast to the previous one, to display non-admin IDs. Copy and paste the third query code from the same text file. Finally, you added two password page items. The first one is used to enter the new password, whereas the other one is added for its confirmation.
Note that on the page submission, the reset password button will run the update password process. Create two validations, the first validation checks for the existence of a user ID, while the second one checks for a match. Copy and paste the PL SQL code from check user ID.txt file. Copy and paste the PL SQL code from match passwords.txt file. Create a process to store a new password for the selected user. Copy and paste the PL SQL code from update password.txt file. If you run the page at this stage, you won't see the user's select list. This is because the select list item, p56 underscore user ID, is visible only when the currently logged in user is an administrator. Since the account you are currently logged in with doesn't exist in the gl underscore users table, the list doesn't appear. To make the list visible, create an admin account for yourself having the same ID you are currently using. After creating your new account, invoke the reset password page to test your work by setting passwords for all application users, including yourself. Note that the passwords you set through this interface are case sensitive, therefore, care must be taken of when saving them.
Verify the addition of passwords to the table by accessing the table either from the object browser utility in SQL Workshop or through the user report page from the user's menu. At this stage you can set and browse the user's passwords, but you cannot use these passwords to log in. This is because of the currently implemented authentication scheme, which was set to the application express scheme when you initially created the application. To authenticate the users through their new IDs and passwords, you have to create a custom authentication scheme. Follow the video to create a custom authentication scheme. Now you can access the application using the credentials stored in the GL underscore users table. Now that you have allowed your users to access the application, you must also allow privileged users to switch company, year, and month, which comes next. Thank you for watching the video.